Okay, today, folks, we're reviewing four of the cheap uh, DC DC buck converters you can get on eBay. Uh, the one on the far left is um, a Wemos shield. Uh, they can be picked up for about two dollars fifty Aussie dollars. Um, the next one along is a um, known as the DC DC buck converter again. Uh, same as the one uh, to the right of that, and then the far right one is uh, known as a mini. DC DC converter. The second one from the left, I um, don't know if you can see there, but uh, it's got uh, some writing HW, uh, and the one next to it on the right there is uh, labeled U Sun. Looking underneath, we'll look underneath all of them as best as we can. Um, the uh, one and the second from the left has got uh, some sort of artwork uh, to distinguish it from the others perhaps uh, from my tests uh, so far that one's proven to be the best so uh, we'll uh, do some testing and I'll show you on the scope what they look like uh, so first up folks is the uh, Wemos power shield the test setup is a variable resistor um, a fluke meter measuring current and a uh, EV blog meter measuring the volts across the uh, output there and also a uh, Rigol scope looking at the uh, the noise and a, and a Rigol power supply supplying the 12.8 volts input so uh, powering on if we uh, look at the scope power on the power supply I've got it on roll mode you can see that it turns on nice and cleanly and, um, and there's not a lot of noise. The current we're currently pulling is 300 milliamps. I'm gonna wind up the, uh, the wick, as Dave Jones would say, and uh, we'll increase that current uh, while monitoring the, monitoring a few things, looking at the, uh, the scope there, where it's 800 milliamps. Uh, that's a little over one amp there, just to, uh, so you can see that. The volts is dropping down a little bit increasing the uh, current until uh, the volt sort of drops out and it's sort of starting to look a little bit messy there if we wind that back a little bit there you can see that they're starting to drop so i'd say uh, these power supplies or these dc dc converters are good for say 1.5 1.4 amps max 1.5 and uh, we'll look at the next one shortly okay folks so the next one up is the one that's uh, labeled HW or perhaps that's MH, not really sure. This is the one that's got a little bit of artwork on the back. Um, it's currently uh, powered up and uh, pulling about 100 milliamps and the output uh, seems to go up a little bit when you first load it up, but then it seems to settle down. So looking on the scope, powering off and on, seems to come up uh, nice and cleanly. Uh, if we increase the resistance here, or decrease the resistance, sorry, uh, pull some current through that Say so let's take it up to 500 milliamps Looking at 500 milliamps. There's a bit of noise there on the scope uh, Turning off and on at that seems to come up cleanly Increase the current some more take it up to an amp Turns out that the uh, noise I'll just wind that down so you can see at 500 milliamps it's About there as we increase the current seems the noise seems to drop off a little bit that's at about an amp there. Uh, just for, uh, there we go, we'll set that to an amp. We can see it's still pretty clean. Clean, clean enough for me. Uh, I'll continue increasing the current until we see, uh, until we see the volts start to drop off. So it's pulling one and a half amps. That's looking pretty good. Still pretty good on the scope. Okay, it's just starting to get a bit noisy now on the scope. See where it sort of drops out at. Yeah, pulling three amps, that's not too bad. Uh, that's what the scope trace looks like. Yeah. And it bombed out at uh, a bit over three amps. Okay, shortly we'll look at the next one. Uh, so the next one up is branded U Sun or V Sun. Uh, this one doesn't behave all that well, unfortunately. Uh, these seem to be more popular or more commonly available on eBay, whereas that last one we looked at um, they seem to be a little bit rarer, but can be had for about the same price. So uh, currently we're pulling uh, 100 milliamps, 
uh, the output voltage of this thing. I set them all up to five, uh, roughly five volts. That's what I'm interested in. And uh, looking at the scope, got a relatively clean trace and power supplies on, as we can see. Um, reducing the resistance. We'll take it up to 500 milliamps. Uh, we can see that it's just uh, at about uh, three, 350 milliamps. The uh, noise is starting to pick up there a little bit. Uh, that's at, uh, say, 400 milliamps. Here you can see that's looking really quite bad. It's um, not, not, not the best at all. That's uh, approaching five, 500 milliamps. So, um, yeah, quite ugly. I experimented a little bit and um, uh, using a rather large 100 microfarad output capacitor seems to tidy that noise up a fair bit but it's still uh, still present and uh, sort of hard to get rid of so that's at 600 milliamps uh, winding up to 700 that's uh, looking quite horrible uh, 800 900 and eh, looking at an amp yeah, see where it drops out at that's yeah, just uh, unusable that's at 1.8 amps so i guess it's supplying the current but but I wouldn't want to use that on anything uh, sensitive like a ESP8266 or, or a Uno, Arduino Uno. So we'll wind that back down and we will look at the next one. See the voltage drops, uh, picks up there uh, when we're pulling some, that's interesting. But anyway, uh, like I said, this can be tidied up a little bit with a capacitor and uh, we'll move on to the next one shortly. Uh, so this is the last one in the lineup. These ones are the cheapest or about the same price as the previous two that we looked at, but perhaps a little bit more uh, available, slightly cheaper. Um, and I had high hopes for them. And unfortunately, they're really bad, really noisy. Uh, they can be improved. I found with, a, again, a 100 microfarad capacitor on the output. Uh, some of you out there might be able to suggest some better ways to deal with the, the uh, way these misbehave. But uh, so uh, at the moment we're looking at 30 milliamps, output voltage it's supplying 5.1 volts and looking straight away at the scope it's just absolutely uh, it's horrible with that noise, uh, turning on, turning off, it's just, uh, it's just um, plagued with noise, increasing the resistance, uh, decreasing the resistance, increasing the current, you can see it just gets worse, uh, that's at uh, like two, 200 milliamps. Uh, 250 milliamps and it's just just absolutely unusable unfortunately I've used these in some of the previous projects which uh, perhaps I should go back and replace them with uh, that other one that we looked at just some other notes um, underneath this uh, this if we can have a look underneath this guy here you'll see that uh, the is an the output I think is uh, they're both labeled negative so I um, can't really see that there but uh, just just follow if you're using them you'll see the uh, ground plane if you I, I don't recommend actually using them but you see the ground plane continues on that's the negative side even though both of them are labeled as negatives so uh, the best one uh, that we looked at is clear, clearly uh, this, this one here um, so I'm going to see if I can buy some more of those on eBay uh, I've got a, a PCB that I'm wanting to put together to make a sort of a universal baseboard I guess for uh, escape room uh, mo uh, modules which will uh, accommodate an ESP8266, a UNO, a bunch of relays and a whole bunch of uh, headers to connect to various sensors including um, uh, like read switches and uh, audio sensors and to drive audio uh, like an audio module and also uh, some of these cheap uh, RFID tag, uh, these RFID readers, they work quite well, extremely well for the price. Uh, they seem to just sort of work. And uh, so far I've managed to uh, connect two of these up to an ESP8266. It works quite well. So I'm uh, just working on determining how many uh, sort of devices I can hook up to one of these uh, 8266s or WeMOSs. And, uh, to, to that end, I'm trying to uh, determine what is the best power supply DC-DC uh, converter that I can get. Uh, could always design my own, but these things are cheap. A dollar, I was just going to put a header on the uh, baseboard just to plug these in. If they fail, it can be easily replaced. Uh, I don't know if that's the right approach, but I was just going to make a board that I can, uh, that's nice and flexible that I can use to uh, connect a whole bunch of devices up to and uh, quickly change... Um, 
change what they're doing. Uh, here's, uh, here's an audio module that I also got off eBay. These are quite cheap. I forget now, four or five, six US uh, Aussie dollars. Um, they uh, are so I just talk to them via UART and uh, they're good to go. They, they seem to work quite well. So I um, hope you uh, found this of some value if you're searching for um, cheap DC-DC converters on eBay.